Hello, it's Alex. I've been meaning to record this video for a while. I'm here with a review of two digital escape rooms from Enchambered. So, enchambered.com slash puzzles is where you will find these. So the first one is called Alone Together. It's a two-player puzzle game. This was super fun. So you're going to need at least two people. You can also play in teams. And you're going to need two devices. And one of you picks player one, one of you picks player two. And you may not look on each other's devices. Um, so basically you're going to have to describe things to each other in order to solve the puzzles. So I'm going to need to describe things on my screen. And then I played with my husband and he's going to need to use that information I'm giving him to solve puzzles on his screen, vice versa. Sometimes when he solves something on his screen, my screen will change and reveal something new. Um, and once I solve things on my screen as well, things will change and I will get new information. So, I have no idea how they make this work, but it works. And this game is free, which is fabulous. So, I actually told a coworker about this game. She plays with her kids. They're a little bit older than mine. And so they played as a team, as a family, so it would have been a team of two and a team of three, and described it to each other, and they all really enjoyed it. My husband and I really enjoyed this and actually made us work on communication skills a little bit because you have to communicate. You have to describe what you're seeing the best you can. Sometimes it's hard, you know, if there's a symbol that's hard to describe, but we really enjoyed this game. Um, so the first game is about a 45 minute time limit and it took us about 45 minutes to do. So um, anyway, it was great and it was free, but I actually did pay for it after the fact because, or I donated to his GoFundMe because I enjoyed the game so much. So I donated $5 so I thought that, that was definitely, that experience was definitely worth at least $5. So because a lot of people donated on GoFundMe, he actually created a sequel called Together Apart, and it is a longer two-player puzzle game. It works the same way. Um, pay what you want. You have to pay at least $5. And so, again, it works exactly the same way. It was fun. It took a little bit longer. I don't remember exactly how long it took us, at least an hour. And it was just a little bit more involved. Worked the same way. Really enjoyable. My only complaint about these games is they do have help on the website. But it wasn't that thorough. There was something I was totally stuck on. And looking at the help didn't really help me. <laughs> and you can be looking at the help for one thing. And then you realize, oh, it's not working because I didn't solve this other puzzle that would then, you know, reveal such and such. So now you've kind of seen a hint that you didn't want to see. So I did feel like the hint, the hints could have been a letter, a little better, but I, we did eventually figure it out. Again, you need two devices and then two players or two teams don't look on each other's devices. But Honestly, for free and $5, these games were super fun. It was really cool just to see the different things happen on your screen. And again, you work on communication skills. So I would highly recommend these games. Um, he created them during quarantine. Hopefully keep a little bit of income coming in. Um, I do think his escape room is open again, so that's good. But it's still it's a great way to play from home. And you get immediate access, too. Um, either the free game or as soon as you uh, pay f at least $5 for the second game, immediate access. So, totally worth it. It's it, it makes a really fun date night. I've recommended it to a lot of people as a date night, and everyone I've recommended it to actually has loved it. Even people that I don't think have done escape rooms before or haven't done very many enjoyed it. So, I wanted to make sure everybody knows about this great experience. Inchamber.com, again... Um, you can just look that up and then click on puzzles or you can go to slash puzzles and you'll find the games. Anyway, I hope you enjoy. I hope you check them out.